Hey everyone, Curtis Phelan here. Would you like to finally know how to overcome your fear of picking up the phone? <laughs> okay, and this can be used for anything. Now, a lot of people are gonna tell you, you know, just, just do it, uh, you gotta work your way through it, whatever. Here's the deal. If you can't get yourself out of the state of fear, because see, fear is just an emotion. It's an emotional state of your physiology, your mindset, and all of that. And uh, the reason is just people don't don't understand what I'm about to share with you. So this is going to be pretty cool, and I'll try to keep it in, in less than three minutes, all right? Um, so I'll just give you the basics, and I'll give you a simple way to change it. So if you consider what is fear, fear is an emotion. How do you create an emotion? Now, most people think it comes from outside of you, from externally. That's not where it comes from. It comes from internally. Okay, it's not what's going on out there that actually creates the fear. It's your association to what's going on, which is totally under your control, that creates the fear. How do you do it? You do it, number one, with your physiology. Unless you change your physiology, the fear will not go away. So when you power through, you do end up picking up the phone or do something, you're changing your physiology. So the first thing you want to do is write down, how do I create fear? How do I create, if I'm afraid of picking up the phone, how do I create that in my body? How do I breathe? Am I breathing deep diaphragmatic breaths? Or are they very shallow and tight? And, <laughs> am I hyperventilating, right? I must have passed out there. Um, <laughs> What am I doing with my body? What is my facial expression like when I'm afraid to pick up that phone? Think, you know, you're not aware of this stuff. Look in a mirror next time and think about it. Write down, am I smiling? Probably not, right? Are you sitting or standing, right? So let's stand up. You're probably sitting. When you sit, you constrict your oxygen. You're cutting off a lot of resources that you have. And it, you know, your, your shoulders slouch, all that stuff. So what are the emotions, and let's just talk about physiology today, because I don't want to go into the rest of it, I'll run out of time, I'll do that in the next one. So what is the physiology you need to get out of fear? So instead of fear, what would you want? I probably want to be courageous, energetic, excited, powerful, right? Well, how would you sit or stand? You could sit down if you have to, okay? But how would you sit if you were like, you know, a phone prospecting beast, right? You'd probably sit up straight, right? You wouldn't sit like this, right? <laughs> probably not. You'd sit up straight. You'd be excited. You'd be like bouncing in your chair almost, right? And get the little energy going. What expression would be on your face if you want to have a positive impact on the phone? Where well, you're going to smile a little bit, right? How would you breathe? You'd breathe, take, take some deep diaphragmatic breaths and relax and be positive and centered, right? You'd want to be centered and just center your, your gravity, okay? So that's just the physiology part. We'll get into the mindset part. Real easy way for mindset. Focus on the other person saying yes, or say, like I said the other day, hey, Joe, welcome to the team. We're excited to be working with you. The big smile on your face. Try it out today. If you like this, please like or comment or share. I'll be doing a webinar tomorrow night. I'll post the link below. I'm going to go more into this, and I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Have a great day.